Hi guys, meet my two cats, Tofu and Shinzi. from PetSmart, which as you guys probably already know, PetSmart works with a lot of animal shelters to put rescue animals in their stores. So me and my two rescue cats. I actually decided on getting two cats because cats are actually very social and they do well in pairs. So I even spoke to a representative from one of the shelters where I got Tofu from, and she said that Tofu loves other cats and would do very well in a multiple cat house. So this is how I bonded them. Before we get into it, I just want to say do not put your two cats together and hope it works out. They will not work it out, and it could end up a lot worse than it needs to be. So if you take this nice slow process, it will end up being a lot better than if you just sprung a new cat onto your resident cat. If you guys didn't see my last video where I bond my two chinchillas together, I shared three steps of basic introduction that actually applies to cats as well. The basic steps are introduction of scent, introduction of sight, and physical introduction. So let's start with introduction of scent. When getting a new cat, you want to quarantine them for at least two weeks. This will ensure that they don't have any sicknesses or medical problems that can be passed on to your resident cats. And trust me, if you are getting a cat from a rescue shelter, you have no idea what they've been exposed to. The quarantine phase is a good time to start establishing a safe space in your house for your cat. This is going to be somewhere where they can resort to, where they feel most comfortable. This will also help with nervous cats slowly acclimating to their new environments, because a lot of times, cats take a couple weeks to months to feel safe in a new environment and having their own room where the space is a little bit more confined will help with that process. So because I had two new cats, I had to establish two safe spots. And I had a Shinzi in the bedroom and I had Tofu in the bathroom. Lastly, you wanna start creating a bond with your cat. And one of the ways of doing that is by starting a feeding schedule. You wanna feed them between two to three times a day and you don't wanna leave the bowls down in between those times. So if your cat's not used to this, you're probably going to have to start training them in the matter of you put the food down for a half hour to an hour and then you're going to pick it up and if they didn't eat, then they're gonna eat next time. They're gonna be hungry next time. And it's not like you're waiting 12 hours to feed them the next time. You're going to feed them like in four hours or in five hours. So that next time they'll be like, oh, the food's down, I'm going to eat it. And then they'll start realizing you're bringing me the food and I have to eat it when you give it to me instead of eating whenever I feel like I wanna eat. This will also start playing into a lot of other training techniques when they start bonding. So get them on a food schedule as soon as possible. After this two week period, or if you get the go ahead from your vet, you're going to start swapping their scent. And you wanna do this with soft items. So what we did is we put pillows and blankets and beds, and we kept them in there for a day, and then we swapped them to the other cat's environment. So these soft items would eventually soak up the scent of the cat that it's around, and then would be able to introduce that scent to the other cat. Next, we switched to cat's room. This not only allowed each cat to really investigate each other's smell, but it also slowly introduced a new environment to our new cat. Check out my cats exploring their new environments. Can you find the cat hidden in this room? If you can, comment her location in the comments below. Now let's make it a little harder. Can you find her in this room? Now the hardest of all, is there one cat in here or is there two? And where are they? Are they even in this picture? Comment below. Now let's move on to the next basic step, introduction of sight. We're gonna start with closed door introductions and these introductions are going to be done at mealtime. So it is imperative that you get your cat on a feeding schedule. So you're gonna start with a closed door and you're going to put the bowls on either side of the door and they should be like maybe six feet away. You want it to be a distance away from the door because you're gonna slowly move that bowl closer and closer to the door each time you feed them. 
and you will be able to tell when they are uncomfortable or where that line is because they're not going to eat. They're going to sit there and either stare or be uncomfortable. You want them to eat comfortably. If they're not eating, there's a problem. So you're going to do this until they are comfortably eating next to the door. Next, I repeated this process for a cracked door. So you're going to start with them being a distance apart, so about six feet is what I did, and slowly move the bowls closer until they are comfortably eating at the cracked door. But make sure that they are not getting to each other. Just have it like a little bit open. That's what I did. Okay, so lastly, you're going to do the same process with either a baby gate or a screen door. Just make sure if you use a baby gate that they can't jump over the fence and fight because my cat's gonna jump over the fence so I had to make sure that they weren't going to do that so I had to supervise the whole time. But I used a baby gate. So again, with this process, you're going to start a distance apart and slowly, slowly, slowly move your way closer, which as you can see from this video, Tofu for a while was uncomfortable and I didn't realize why until I was like, what if I move the bowl further away from her? So this made it so that she would eat. So that was the line for her. She was uncomfortable at that point. So I needed to move back a little bit. So at any point, if your cat is uncomfortable and is not eating, you need to push back the process. So you want to push the bowls back or maybe do the closed door again, something like that. But once you have your cat comfortably eating next to your baby gate or screen door, we can move on to the physical introduction part. At this point, you're going to take both cats and put them in a room together, but you're going to distract each cat individually. So you're probably going to need two people for this. You're going to have one person play and treat your cat in one corner, and you're gonna have the other person play and treat your other cat in the other corner. You wanna give them something to focus on that isn't the other cat. So you want to treat and play with them. You wanna do anything that they wanna do, things that they really enjoy doing to distract them from fighting with the other cats. You just want them to be in the same space so that they can be comfortable. So you wanna do this in play sessions. So you're going to do this for a few minutes and then you're going to separate them and you're going to continue the next day. But you want to make sure that when you are doing these play sessions that there isn't any negative tensions or if they do that Texas stare standoff, you know what I'm talking about, where they just stare at each other. It's like right before they're going to strike, you want to separate them before they do that. You don't want to have them have any negative associations with this cat because right now we have associated food with this other cat, right? So if that happens, if you see that stare, don't think about it. Just pick them up and separate them and we'll start over the next day. So you're going to repeat this process where they play in a room together over and over again until they are comfortable with each other and cohabitating. Now, how many of you knew I was hiding a certain special someone in my bonding process? That's right, my corgi puppy, Jelly Bean. If you guys are interested in a video where I bond my two cats to my corgi puppy Jellybean, make sure to give this video a like to let me know and I will have a future video about exactly what I did. And trust me, it was a process. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post. However, while you wait, make sure to check out these videos next. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.